the details of cross-sectional studies. As we have seen earlier, cross-sectional studies are types of observational studies in which we try to study the prevalence of either the disease or the health related condition or event. Now what do I mean by prevalence? Prevalence is nothing but the total number of cases of the disease in the specified population during a given time period. So as we have seen earlier, cross-sectional studies give us a snapshot of the population or we take a cross-section of the population which is representative of the whole population and we apply the results to the population from which the cross-section has been taken. Now when we talk about cross-sectional studies, we try to ascertain at the given point of time how many people are suffering from the particular disease or how many people are facing the health event. For example, if we are trying to find out prevalence of depression amongst elderly in a given community, what we would have to do is we would have to go in the community and have to try to study uh, the geriatric population. So our population becomes only the elderly or the geriatric population from the whole population of which if we have limited time and resources we would draw a sample from the elderly and then we would try to assess how many of them are depressed or how many of them are not depressed. So the results which we obtain will be considered as those people who are suffering from depression at that point of time in the given population of elderly in that community contribute to prevalence of depression amongst the elderly in that community. What happens to the remaining ones? Now the remaining ones are those who are not depressed at the moment when you conduct the study. Now if you leave your study there itself wherein you just try to find out how many from the elderly in the community are depressed, it is known as a descriptive cross-sectional study. If you want to go further and try to find out a particular factor associated with depression amongst those elderly, we would want to know whether that factor is associated with the disease or not. So what do we do? For example, if we are looking at those people who are living alone and those people who are living with their family as factors affecting depression. So we consider them as exposures. So those people who are living alone are considered to be exposed likely to suffer from depression whereas those who are living with the family are considered to be not exposed and that's why they are then assessed whether they are depressed or not. So if you look at this two by two table what we can see here is those who are living alone become the exposed group whereas those who are living in families become non-exposed group and we try to look at how many from the exposed group are suffer, suffering from depression at that point of time and how many from those who are staying alone are not suffering from depression and the same applies for the other category that is those who are not living alone suffering from depression and those who are not living alone not suffering from depression and from this 2 by 2 table we can then assess whether those people who are living alone are having a higher prevalence of depression compared to those who are living with their families and same applies for those who do not suffer from depression. So this variety of cross-sectional study is known as an analytical cross-sectional study. Please mark my words, it is analytical in nature. Now analytical means we are trying to study whether a relationship exists between the exposure and the disease under study. Now we have other varieties of analytical uh, studies which we are going to look at in the next session but do remember that cross-sectional studies can be both descriptive or analytical in nature depending on what you are trying to study. But the most important fact is that before going on for analytical cross-sectional survey we need to have a descriptive cross-sectional analysis of the population without which we cannot go ahead and do the study of relationship between a factor and the disease. So that's all from me today. Have a good day. Please do watch.